Huh. What's this? Pony dubs. Hmm. This looks kind of interesting. I wonder if I have any voices I could throw their way. Meanwhile, in the dark back corners of that Canadian dude's brain... All right, all right, people, we need to get this set up. We got tryouts coming in here for the That Canadian Dude Pony Dubs auditions. So we need to line up the best of the best. I want all women, children, and foreign voices kept out of here. If it isn't a form of English, I don't want it on the set. A man couldn't do a French accent if he stuffed a baguette. Sit there, Leo. This is how you say balder crap. I demand to speak to the director. Get him out of here. All right, how many do we have lined up? Um, two, sir. A big red one and some panicked-looking brown one. Two? That's it? Come on! Oh, the stuff I have to work with. Send the big guy in first. Howdy. Yeah, greetings. Look here, Big Red. I don't have a lot of time to spare. Here's a script with some tryout lines. Go over there, do them, then leave. I'll call you back if you're used. All right. Okay, start with lines one and two. Yep. Nope. Nice. Uh, I like the drawl. Uh, okay, try line five. The lead-in is the loyalist of friends and the most dependable of ponies. But still only one pony. And one pony plus hundreds of apple trees just doesn't add up. Uh, good, good. Um, try line 14. Uh, we designed it especially for the tryouts. Now look here, mister. We don't take kindly to less than friendly ponies here at Sweet Apple Acres. So you best start showing some common courtesy, or you will be shown the gate. Fantastic, beautiful, brilliant. You're done, get off my set. I got a schedule to keep. Okay. Good evening to you. Jeez, that guy was slow. All right, send in the brown guy. Wow, that sounded conspicuously racist. Oh, um, uh, hello there. Um, have you seen a gray pegasus about gay, tall, crossed eyes? I need to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bangers and mash to you, too. Here's a script. Read the lines I tell you. I'll call you back. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you don't seem to understand. She stole my sonic screwdriver, and it's entirely possible she could accidentally unwind the fabric of reality as Look, we... I'm very glad that you're getting into this, but I don't have time for your crap. Now get reading. Line seven. <laughs> All right. Is this thing working? Martha, before I change, here's a list of instructions for when I'm human. One, don't let me hurt anyone. We can't have that, you know a human's along. Two, don't worry about the TARDIS. I'll put it on emergency power so they can't detect it. Just let it hide away. Four, no, wait a minute. Three, no getting involved in big historical events. Four, you, don't let me abandon you. And five, very important five, don't let me eat pears. I hate pears. There, I read it. Now, have you seen it? Not bad, but your accent's a bit fake. Try line 22 on the back page. Blast it. Fine. <clears throat> There's an old earth saying, Captain. A phrase of great power and wisdom. And consolation to the soul in times of need. What's that then? Allons-y! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll have to allons-y myself before we landed in plodes. No oh, bugger me, I think that's her. Sorry, gotta run! We need to get your contact information! <sighs> Screw it. We'll run with what we got. We'll chase him down later. All right, Jerry? Sound is ready. Deliver it to the mouth team. Look at this bastard semi-internet famous if it kills us.